Through collaboration with our students, families, staff, and community, the Special Programs and Services Department will support each and every student on their path to a meaningful future by celebrating individual strengths, honoring voice and choice, and building independence. Hello, I'm Kimberly Waltman, Executive Director of Special Programs and Services. Our special programs team serves students under special education, 504, homebound services, intervention services, and dyslexia. Our special programs team has been working on a vision to connect the work of our staff with our families so that we can best meet the needs of each individual student within our system. Let's hear from some members of our special programs community talking about our vision. Um, I think that uh, as teachers, we have to get to know our students. Um, we need to know their individual strengths. What are they bringing to the table that we can kind of build off of? Um, and then I think we lean into those. The district as a whole and as a campus that really we really want to do is focus in on those student passions and find their strengths. That's, that way they feel empowered and are able to learn and, 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 and love learning as well. I want to learn without like moving my seat and like having not having a lot of movement and a lot of talking around me. I'm not good with writing stories, so um, I would read books, um, do science um, and math. It's like um, they recognize that I can do that um, more than the other thing, and they can probably help me with the other thing. Knowing strengths is a groundwork for developing collaboration, developing knowledge, creating a successful plan for Maria that moves us towards her autonomy. Collaborating involves a big team. It involves you know, the VI teacher, it involves um, the speech therapist, occupational therapist, physical therapist, and the aides in the room, but collaborating is, you know, it's more than just the art, it's those additional conversations that you have throughout the year. It's nice because our entire team has a lot of strengths and we can put those together, find the best person to serve kids. Um, the person that's most suited has the most knowledge for that. And it's our collective efforts that are going to move our students forward. So then coming together and really looking at like what, what are our personal strengths that we can bring to the table um, and working together to plan activities, to support our students. Um, I think it's bringing in people from our special programs, our classroom teachers, our everyone, all of our staff in the school, making sure that we're all part of meeting our students' needs. Putting your pride and ego aside and putting the kids first and being able to really just have those honest conversations about who are the children? How can we best serve them? I think it's important for, for teachers to build relationships with students. It's very much about knowing who the children are. Like we spend the first two or three weeks of school just getting to know each other. We're trying to build really, really good and decent adults here. And they're gonna need to be able to speak up for themselves. They're gonna need to be able to identify what they need and know how to ask for that. And they're gonna to need to be leaders. If a child is unable to have a voice, then where are they in life? Where are they in the world? How are they going to be able to meet their needs one day? And so we're giving them the skills, we're giving them foundational skills with whatever they're struggling with. Um, and we're teaching them how to do it themselves. I can actually help them out if they're having a lot of trouble. And if the teacher is currently busy helping another student out, I can, I'm gonna help them out. I have a big, literally a big Rubbermaid <laughs> box of things that they have just sent to help Brady learn while he's been at home. Things that I don't know when I would have had the time to collect myself or even necessarily think of. I think as a teacher I first, you really want to focus on students that have those high, high needs. But um, being in Leander has really opened up my eyes and has helped me um, try to meet the needs of all students. When I get to work with others, it feels like I belong there. Ah, one, help, two, help, I want to help. We're in the trenches together, and so given, um, being given those opportunities by the district to share what we know. Um, we meet them where they're at, but we progressively kind of put more and more back on the students. Um, we kind of walk alongside them um, rather than maybe like lead them through. So I want uh, my daughter to be happy. I want her to lead a full life. And in order to be happy and to lead a full life, 
you have to start with education. And here at LISD, she gets the best education. And I'm laying the groundwork for her to, ha for her to have the best chance in a full life. Because if I learn that t today and tomorrow and the next year and the years before that, I'll be a, I'll be a pretty good um, adult. The teachers and staff have just introduced him to so so much here, and truly, he's learning. And that's what's most important to me is that today we're better than yesterday.